on the top of the throat of the world. He fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. I've learned that Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's palace in Whiterun, was once used to imprison a dragon. I need to persuade the Jarl of Whiterun to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. Okay, so I guess that's the next thing we're going to be doing. So I guess we need to travel to Whiterun. Man, that was incredible, though. I mean, truly, just astonishing. Do I still have the Elder Scroll? No, it's disappeared. Okay, wait a minute, no. I do still have the Elder Scroll. I wonder how foolish it would be to try to read it again. <laughs> or read it, you know, outside of the... Probably the whole screen would go black, and I would be like... It would be like, you are now blind. Hmm. Probably not the best idea. I think I can resist that particular temptation. Okay. Wow. That was pretty astonishing. The events of the of the past 45 minutes have been pretty pretty legendary. I guess that's good for, you know, as we near the end of the game. Um, so we need to travel uh, to White Run and eventually to Dragon's Reach. Yeah, we need to go to Dragon's Reach and speak with the Jarl, the Jarl Balgruf the Jarl Balgruf the Greater, and see if we can get him on board. Has the Empire forsaken us? How could White Run fall into the hands of these stinking half-wit Nords? You couldn't possibly be... All right. It's a fine day with you around. Oh, wait a minute. Where is he? Did we put him in a prison or something? Oh, no, the Jarl's quarters. Okay. If you're heading east, steer clear of Hilgrunt's too. Think about those old crypts. The dead having trouble staying that way. Okay, we're going to the Jarl's quarters. Can we install a new Jarl? Some old man? Am I remembering that right? Oh no, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vigner Greymane, that's right, yeah, the other guy got, uh, displaced. Okay, let's speak to the new Jarl. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Whiterun. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Okay, um... Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't talk to him about. Uh, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. <laughs> uh, you heard right. It's the only way to stop the dragons. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Why would I agree to let a dragon into the heart of my city after working so hard to keep them out? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The World Eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm the Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. Then Whiterun will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Uh, got any virgins hanging around? Virgin maids? That's the usual. You tie them to a stake, right? Oh, that's not a, that's not an option. That's not a dialogue option. I can't make a joke. No. Okay. I don't know yet, but I know some people who can probably help. 
Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business, probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> we'll be ready, don't worry. You do have okay. a plan for actually... Alright, so we're gonna go have to talk to, um... Esburn, I suspect. What am I supposed to do? Learn shout to call Odiving? Wait, what? Oh, they're gonna teach me a shout that's gonna summon a dragon. And then we'll, yeah, we'll use that into the, uh... Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So I need to speak to Esburn, basically. Uh, where, where does he live? Didn't we split up or something? I can't remember where they are. Are they in Riverwood right now? No, I thought we left the inn. Where did they... No, they went to Skyhaven Temple. That's right. That's right. Oh, I almost... Uh, I just completely blanked on where we'd gone. Alright. So we need to go to Skyhaven Temple. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, right. So we need to go find Esburn. He's in here somewhere. Gotta be around here somewhere, right? Okay. Here we go, here they are. Yeah, they're out here in the courtyard. Okay. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up. A tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light, just on the horizon, within the clouds that marked the border. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could not. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I cannot escape forced to wait to watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat, the sound, the roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me, fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. There's one more thing we know about Parthenon.
there's one more thing we know about Parthenax. You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. It's the end of the world! Well, I'm going to kill Alduin! Oh. Oh, you stupid racist bitch. He grew older, he got wiser, he became our ally, he's shown trust and favor, and... Oh, Delphine. Oh, unbelievable. Where's Esbern? Hopefully he's more reasonable. You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. I need a way to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach. Any ideas? Interesting problem. Hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice. But it is written here, in the scroll. Ud Avin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Ud Avin. All right. So thank goodness Esbern doesn't let his, uh, his, you know, prejudice against the dragons cloud his mind to the point where he won't even help us. Um, guys, we learned now a way to uh, challenge Odaving, uh, the snow-winged hunter, winged snow hunter, uh, to appear before us, and Esbern assures us that the prideful nature of dragons will bring him to this call. Um, but that's going to have to wait for next time, because we have run out of time uh, for this episode. Um, and so next time, after this incredibly epic episode, wherein we uh, transcribe the lexicon and solve the puzzle of the ancient Dwemer Ori, and return to the, dra to the time wound to literally travel through time to learn a new shout, and then only to f succeed that with uh, battling and defeating Alduin himself. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop for the day, having learned the last key to trapping an ally and tracking down Alduin and finishing him for all, for once and for good. So that's it for, for this time, everybody. Thanks for watching, uh, and see you next time. Okay. Take care, everybody.